In a series of meetings with President Karzai and Ambassador Carl W. Eikenberry from a cable dated July 7, 2009, President Karzai discussed his concerns with the future of U.S. policy on Afghanistan. At the June 30 meeting with Karzai and his national security advisors, they briefed him about the Kandahar incident, June 29 incident in which a United States government-funded, equipped, and mentored paramilitary force attacked a Kandahar courthouse. They arrived at the courthouse with U.S. supplied uniforms, vehicles and weapons and demanded the release of a comrade held for a traffic offense. When police were called to the scene by terrified court officials, the militia opened fire, killing Kate and three other policemen. At the meeting Karzai insisted that units operating outside of the Afghan armed forces must be brought under the legitimate control of the Afghan government. The ambassador Carl W. Eikenberry reminded Karzai that he had selected and introduced this paramilitary unit's recruits to the U.S. government, implying that he shared the blame for the incident. Karzai declared in all four meetings that he believed the U.S. was not speaking clearly to Afghans on its goals in Afghanistan, and that Karzai believes that the U.S. and Iran were working together to support by supporting the presidential campaign of Abdullah Abdullah in order to promote a decentralization agenda that would strip power from the central government. Ambassador Eikenberry asked Karzai to take his word that they were not supporting Abdullah. In a meeting with Interior Minister Mohammed Hanif at Mar, Ambassador Eikenberry said that that with his conspiratorial behavior, Karzai would run the risk of leaving U.S. government interlocutors with the impression that we have accomplished very little here and that the Afghan government believed most of the failures lay with us. The U.S. has been clear in its past shortcomings in Afghanistan, but we have yet to see Karzai admit to the serious shortcomings in his administration. In the cable ambassador Eikenberry also expressed his opinion of Karzai as a paranoid and weak individual unfamiliar with the basics of nation building and overly self-conscious that his time in the spotlight of glowing reviews from the international community has passed.